Hey guys, it's Bob here, and I'm from the Unholy Sandwich, and today I'm giving you a little bit of a review. Some people don't know what a capture card is, so today I'm showing you what I've been using to capture all my Xbox Live gameplay, you know, from uh, the Haley Reach Shenanigans episode, the Gears War 3 beta episodes, and uh, what I'm going to be using to capture my Battlefield uh, campaign when I do that, which should be up within a week or two. I'm, depend I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for it. First, let's go into the pieces. Uh, we got a box real quick. My computer, I got, for my Xbox, I got a Roxio Game Capture. This is the case that comes in. Um, it works for Xbox and PS3, as you can see right up here. You can see Xbox and PS3. And here's, here's the device itself. Small, lightweight, not even a pound. Um, you got your, uh, <clears throat> Component video cable in right here, which is your green, blue, and red. Then you got your uh, audio in, which is red and white. Um, and then on the back side, you have the exact same thing, except it's on the back side. You got your uh, component out, audio out. And you have this little, uh, this little uh, uh, socket right there. That is for your power cord. The only other thing that comes in that package would be your power cord. Oh. There is one more thing that comes in the package. Uh, let me grab it real quick. Here, it's your disc with the video editing software. And uh, in case you guys know, I'm doing a full review, so this is the first like visual part of it. And uh, so I will be showing you some. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you guys what's the stuff inside the computer, like the program, how the recording works. Stuff like that. Um, I'm not gonna do any live recording though, to show you how it works. But first, let's set up my Rockstar Game Capture because I just unplugged it. Because here's how you set it up. You take, uh, you take your, uh, okay, you got your component right here. Let me hold you down my foot real quick. Go green to green. This is in. So you're gonna plug your. So you, you see this cable? This is the Xbox cable that comes back into here plugs into, I don't know if you guys can see it, it plugs into the back of your Xbox. And the other set is, comes with the capture card, I believe. No, wait, those are different ones, never mind. So these go into the TV. So, yeah. so if you want, just uh, plug this stuff in. See? Green, red, blue. Then the other side. If you're using Carl Beaches, like I do sometimes with my White House Mike's dead, just plug them in like you normally would. This is just like you're plugging into a TV. So, yeah, plug those in. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to plug in your out cables. The out cables are the cables that go to your TV. The ins for Xbox, outs for, uh, try to keep on the capture card a little bit. The outs for, uh, the TV. X Xbox side is in, out is TV. The last thing you got to plug in is this. Your, uh, transmission cable, power cable. Has a USB end. This actually this is the wrong. That's just USB two. I think. I don't know. This is the USB end. This comes back comes into the back of your computer, right in one of the USB sockets. This end goes into the capture card, like so. And this is all you have to do with the capture card itself. So, like I said, I'm gonna cut into the computer and show you what you actually have to do to record the TV. I will see you guys then. Hey guys, this is Bob here from The Holy Sandwich, and now we're continu continuing the Roxy review. First, you will take your... Here's what you need to do first. Take that disc I showed you in the video that comes in your uh, uh, package. Install that, and then once you have that all installed and you're registered and everything, you'll find this little icon up on your desktop, except it's down here in my toolbar, so have it pinned. Click on that. It'll take you to this like main hub. <clears throat> Let me move the mic with my mouth a little bit. Now this main hub, you can either pick to edit or capture video. So yeah, edit and share and capture. Okay. And they also have guides. In case my guide for connecting it to the Xbox wasn't clear because I looked at the video, it looks kind of shitty. If that doesn't work, use um just click on one of these videos and this will show you how to use the sh the share. The edit and share, which is video wave, I believe, is what's called technically called. 
So I'm going to click on capture and I'm going to show you how the capture portion of this works. If you're, wondering, if you're wondering what I'm using to record my desktop, it's Hypercam 3. Just putting that out there. So you click on it, it takes a second to load. And, uh... This, give me a... Here we go. So it loads up. You can choose your source, which is obviously going to be your capture. Um... You can choose the settings. You can choose where to save it to. Mine saves it to my desktop, up in my footage folder up here, to my PC. Actually, to my Xbox One. So you can see again, I'm an Xbox 360. You gotta have an audio, I just have that there for shits. Because it has to be there. You can name the prefix of the video recording. Click start to start recording it, and you click stop to stop. Um, you can record the game volume with... Well, it'll record game volume. But if you don't want to hear the game button through your computer, just hit this. This is for snapshots, brightness, you know, stuff like that. And that's pretty much it for this part. Now we're going to go to the edit and share option. Um, and I do have the video from my phone. It took me like half an hour to get to work though because, uh, yeah, I'm stupid. Actually, the Android phone connecting to my computer was being really gay. And it took me about like... 15 minutes to an hour, half an hour to connect it. Um, and uh, here we go. As you can see, you open up this. And then you can, this is your media selector up here. On the side of the screen, over here, see this where I'm circling my mouse? This is your media. You just pick your folder that you want to get from. Usually, it been Xbox 360. Yeah, I still have to post the last part of that. <laughs> It's, that, that was like two weeks ago that I recorded that too, which is the bad part. Or, oh, you can increase the size of the file so you can see it better. You can make it smaller, bigger, whatever you want to do. Me, for this um, purpose, I gotta go to my desktop. I believe you can just drag and files from the desktop too, right? Uh, I do not see the thing. So, oops. Make the screen bigger. You can drag stuff. No, you can't. Let me find this file real quick. And just put some footage. And that. I will fix that later. Anyways, so you see your dragon footage. You go to wherever you need to get your footage from. I'll just go here. Dragon, uh, some random. What the hell? Dragon, some random crap. Dragon, episode 7 file, just drag it in, and you place it. See, now it's down here in the bar. Now, you can add transition, video effect, overlay, text, background audio. Background audio would be like uh, music and whatnot. Say my commentaries. Um, now if you're recording, now, uh, also it posts to YouTube, but I don't do that. I just, uh, now if you're gonna export a video, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to output, export as um, I choose no most of the time and you, you're just gonna if you wanna post it on YouTube um, DVX, DIVX HD um, 720 30fps works really good it takes about a half an hour for a 10 minute video you can name it uh, and do stuff like that you just click create video file and it'll start rendering it um, and uh, these are all the settings. I'm not going to go into great detail if you want a detailed guide on just the video wave, which is this. Um, I can make that. But for having, but there's a lot of stuff that I even I don't know how to use yet. I'm going to not save that. Um, and now if you want to do commentaries over it, live, post, whatever. Um, if you want to do a live commentary, you just start it as soon as you start recording. If you want to do post, you do it after. You're going to want to download a program called Audacity free uh, voice recording worked great um, you just hit this little red dot up here to record hit the yellow thing to stop and uh, yeah I'm not gonna really get into it but just download it and mouse with it tinker with it whatever you wanna do and uh, so yeah guys this is pretty much it this is uh oh sorry I gotta do the review part what do I think about the Roxy game capture well if you haven't seen one of my Xbox videos go check it out the quality is great easy to set up the pro the video capture program isn't all funky and weird. The editing software is amazing. Um overall I give this 
uh, 5 out of 5 just because I love it. It's amazing and I could not have like epic videos without it. Um, so yeah. Um, also look for, look up, um, this is just the end of the video. If you don't really want to listen to me babble on for about a minute, you can just leave the video. But, um, this is going to be like a little update now. Uh, I'm planning on doing some Team Fortress 2 videos, most likely with my friend Jake. And, uh, if you want to check out his channel, it's Kofuzum. It's youtube.com slash Kofuzum, C-O-F-U-S-M. He only has like four videos, but I'm going to tell him how to get fraps, and we're going to start record, and we're probably going to start recording some. Um, if you want to be in a Team Fortress 2 video, my, uh, Steam username is DJ, CZ in brackets, space, DJ Cookies in the Rain. If you don't know how to spell that, just go to my update video for, I think it was like five, four, I don't know, just look up for my update video that has a schedule on it. And I will catch you guys later, this is about it. This is Bob from Yellow Sandwich, signing out. Peace.